Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Alright, so we got the Kerberos up and running in the last episode. I saw some really great comments um, uh, regarding gameplay and mech loadouts and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. Um, we're going to run a tough mission, tougher mission today, I think, uh, for what we have running. Um, and then I think I want to reanalyze some of the loadouts on my mechs. Now the Kerberos... I just don't think we have all the right gear that we need to get that running properly. And what I mean by properly is, I guess, more efficiently than properly. Um, it, I think the loadout is okay. Uh, I don't think it's stellar. The railgun is a nice idea. It's a nice, heavy, hard-hitting weapon. If we can get it to hit more often, I think it's going to be devastating. Um, and then the support weapons are really just for lack of a better term, backup fluff, really. Just something to put some more damage down range um, to exploit whatever um, exposure, uh, exposed parts of the mech that we get from the railgun. So um, that being said, I want to go and take a mission straight away today. I want to take, um, I'm going to go right down here. We're going to take front lines. Um, and it's an elite unit from Draconis Combine. Chances are it's going to be two lances. Um, so we're going to go straight into this one. Um, I'm not even checking the map to see what the uh, um, status of the planet is and any of that stuff. We're going to go right into this because I really want to uh, try out this Kerberos. We're going to go full salvage on this one. We're doing okay for our financial report. we got a little bit of time before that happens. So let's get this going. We're going to pull this out. We're going to put the... Uh, the OMGP into a Griff here, and I think we're going to run the rest of the lands as we've been running it, um, and this is to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're going uphill here. Time to get dirty. Yeah, you bet. Oh, I haven't been on this map in quite a long time. All right, we need to get up this hill, uh, but I don't want to do it in a... Well, they're going to have... We have the ability to see me pretty much right from the beginning. Let's get some speed and get into some trees here. Uh, let's close the distance, I think, with the uh, Timberwolves a bit. Get in the trees here. For trees are superior, a lot of armor, apparently. Six pack doesn't need to rush it in. We got the range. The Kerberos is just slow as all hell. So we're going to move it up a little fast here. It's only moving, what, one, two, three, four, five. So it's, yeah, well. Okay, so one of my questions about the Kerberos, which I'm hoping we'll find out today. Heads up, um, You've got hostile contacts inbound. Yeah. Reporting enemy contact. Is, does the, using the regular Gauss rifle ammo in the railgun, because it does like five times 20, five times 40 damage does it use five rounds of gauss rifle ammo right so if it does we're going to have to stock up more on gauss rifle ammo here yep yeah. you know the threat baby you know the threat all right so what are we looking at here katyushka crab and a Marauder. That's not so bad. And Rakshasa. Okay. Let's drop. Let's get rid of this Ketyushka. It's going to be doing damage from range. Dagger. Okay. Uh, whew, really? A um, little better this way. We got Thermal Bolt ammo too, right? Nah, we're not going to hit unless we fire, so. Let's get started on this guy. Okay, dagger, eh? What else do we got here? A ghost? Okay, so this... For four and a half skulls, so far... I don't see any potential devastating threats. And Orion, okay, that's one guy we got to... Work on getting or keeping him at range. Let's get in here, though. Waiting for orders. 
I don't know if you can see these guys. Well, we have to move if we're going to hit anything here. Anything at all, really. Alright, let's take some shots on this guy. Okay, two hits. Good to go. Can we get over there too and apply some more damage to that guy? We most certainly can. Get in the trees for some superior ablat of armor. Okay, there's the leg. That hit something good. So next turn, I think we should be able to just finish him up with missiles. Griff the stiff. Griff the stiff. Moving two squares. While he smokes his spliff. I don't know why I've been doing a lot of singing lately. I have no idea. Probably because I had my review at work and it was like completely stellar and uh, they gave me a raise and everything, which is awesome. It's probably why. All right, Marauder. I should have had a look at the heavy mech parts before we came in here, but I was honestly I was really expecting to face a couple of assault mechs here, like in the 85, like 80, 85 ton range. Ooh, nice shooting, man. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, well, these guys are elite, which means the pilots are probably pretty damn good. We gotta start pulling damage off the board here. Or this is going to really get costly. That's two turns now that the Kerberos hasn't been able to fire, but this crab has decided he wants to sacrifice himself, so we're good with that. Uh, let's move here. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot the, the dagger's got the ECM suite. I believe it's helping him out. Yeah, firing. Ooh. That's a miss. Okay, so we should be able to answer the the question at this moment about whether or not we're gonna multi-target this. And oh, it's only forty on BI. I wonder if we swarm this if it'll uh, hit both. Let's, well, it's a really bad chance to hit, though. Let's go this route. Split it up a little bit. Acknowledge. No, not quite within range. Do we stay in the trees? We don't have a better shot if we stay in the trees, though. Let's move over here. What do we got here? Wow. Okay, so, question. Let's switch the ammo. See, this says 40 times 6. Does that mean I'm firing 6 Goss Rifle rounds using it this way? We're going to find out. Hope we don't run out of ammo on this one. Alright, let's fire this. Find out in a second here. If so, we, our ammunition should be down to 16. I guess we won't know until the next time we shoot. Because, damn. Okay, hopefully our Timberwolves can pull this dagger out of action. They want to stay over there and shoot pot shots, so I'm good with that. Let's clean up these guys here. I think I'm going to sprint the Timberwolves up into here. Because I want to strike this Katyushka next turn. They're really not liking this night gear. 
It's probably because they can't see the uh, Kerberos. I would bet you that's the case. So we're going to maybe sprint the Nike over here next turn. Kerberos has got the NSS on it now. So it's like difficult to see. Right? Ooh, mech's on fire. Hot stuff, man. Yeah, NSS. Okay. Okay, guys, can we remove that dagger, please? And thank you. It's getting the trees. Maybe we can take its leg here. Good chances to hit. We're just going to fire. I think Sundance is going to use uh, Warlord, though, to get a better chance to hit. Maybe we pull the leg or the arm off the side of the guy. Or torso. I think we hit the... Oh, yeah, we just hit the arm. Yeah, but if you take your mech as a whole, that's not the actual truth. We have a better clearer shot. We do, but it's not from the side. We want a side shot. 37%. Let's warlord this up. Let's hope we get some good hits on this guy. Firing. Ah, uh, one hit. Bet you it was a torso. Yep. It's going to take a full load of missiles in a second here, though. Uh, I know I said I was going to sprint over here, but... Oh, we can do it this way. Copy that. We can do it this way. Let's unload on this guy. Uh, we're going to switch to all Artemis and fire. Okay, there's the torso. Warfare suite's gone. That's perfect. Let's stay out of the direct line of sight of that other guy. This mech can't move worth a shit. Uh, Multi-target. Dagger and the crab. Um, so, we're down to 21. So it only does fire one round. That's interesting. I'm not sure why... Okay, so it doesn't say six times now. It just says 32. I wonder why it said six times. Let's go with the railgun. Pretty good chance to hit. Um, Goss is to B, ER large to A. Actually, let's switch this. Let's put these on A. And hopefully finish that guy up. Firing. Engaging multiple targets. Ah, only hit one. I guess the railgun didn't hit. Doesn't look that way. I was really hoping for the railgun animations to be better, but since this is a ported mech, you know, I wasn't expecting a lot. They could just use the regular Goss animation for now. Okay. Stop it! Hit. Yeah, I saw that. I gotta get you behind some rocks. Rodder's decided it wants to finally engage. Didn't move very far, though.
That cat Yushka still has to go. Oh, he's coming in for a melee attack, eh? You sneaky little bastard. I wonder what it's going to be like at point blank range on this guy. I could probably get around behind him and shoot him straight in the back. All right. Waiting for orders. Let's. We're on fire. Okay, that's fine. And would this clear up the uh, the rest of the problem? It sure will. All right, it's fire. Firing. Okay, there goes the arm. That hit something good. We're just going to back up a bit here, I think. Overstretching, I don't want to do that. With the speed of Griff, he can't keep up. So if I was to move the uh, um, Timberwolves up, and we weren't able to get a quick kill off on that um, Katyushka, we'd be spread. We'd be just spread out too much, and I think that would just end up being a big, huge problem. So at least this way... It's not so bad. Yeah, we're on fire, I know that. Gonna only use two, I think. Yeah, but we're gonna take it and fire. Aye, aye. Goes the torso. Critical hit, Commander. Ready for orders. Okay, we're gonna vigilance because we gotta sprint this. Can we get can't really get to a position. Oh, that's not too bad. We can't target that crab. That's okay. We're going to move back here. Because uh, it's our torso that's hit here. And we're going to hammer the dagger. Well, what's the cat Yushka chance? Marginally better. Let's... Wow, we can't multi. No biggie. We'll just fire on this guy. I should have swarmed that, actually. Okay, he's gone. Tango down. Should help a little bit. Don't want to be out of the trees, but... Well, actually, that's not too bad of an angle. Not too bad. Now. Uh, Railgun's for close range, right? Looks like so. Sure. Well, if we go canister... Why does it say 40 times 6? I don't get that. I'm just thinking we, could, we should save the big railgun ammo for the uh, Orion and stuff. It's the same chance to hit in 200 is plenty on this guy. So let's just fire this way. I don't think we hit with it. I don't think so. Hit with everything else, though. Crab made a choice. It was a bad one. Nice. Receiving you. All right. Uh, let's. do got to get our right side facing yeah so um in the last match with the orion uh there's a comment from boy to zinge it was like you know mentioning me getting my directions wrong see my problem is when i look at this the night gear here I, I think that this torso is actually the right torso because it's the right side when you're looking at it but it's not because it's facing you it's the left side and because i'm like partially direction and dyslexic i have to constantly think of the direction i'm facing to determine what is right and left and actively think about it. I often mistake that for the right side, thinking that this is the torso now, the right torso is facing these guys, but it's not, it's the left. So I have to, or you know what I mean, it's the left, tor you know, whatever. It's I have to now think that this damage is actually on the other side 
so I get that mistaken sometimes and I made a huge error with the Orion so there's not much I can really do about it now but that was the case so we're gonna multi-target these guys and these are gonna be B um, we're not gonna swarm it we're just gonna fire and the Thunderbolt should probably kill this crab Firing on multiple enemies. finally well we got a leg shot Because if anything was going to happen, it was going to hit the only spot that wouldn't kill a mech. Because that's just how I roll. Damn it. We got to make some tweaks. Got to make some tweaks. Problem with the night gear is I'm, I'm finding it's like the ammo is limited still. Maybe we take out that, that the thermal bolt, bolt ammo and put in another ton of LRM ammo, or maybe we um, put it in an AMS and a light tag or something. I don't know. Or pull out the thunderbolt altogether. Go back to the arrow system or a pair of arrows. Or we split it. We could put some direct fire weapons in it, but I don't know if that's going to help at all. The mech is on fire! So the Orion is moving in. Armor blow through. Internal damage. I know, we need to get you back in the trees. And like where they can't see you is hard because they are closing and we're taking forever to kill this stupid fucking crab Commander. let's go on this cat yushka please on my way wind it up firing four cat yushka please Wind it up, firing four. Okay, so that should hand get rid of one of the launchers. Griff, can we get not? We can't even target both, really. I kind of want to be in the trees here. Oh, we could do this. Left arm is still pretty intact. Let's do this and let's vigilance. Uh, and we're going to multi-target against this guy and uh, this guy. 74% chance with the BFG and if we're going to do it, let's BFG it with the railgun. Uh, and everything else to A and hopefully we can get both. Wow, three misses. There we go. 260. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. That's only two mechs down too. Like, I don't know. I think seriously we need to get the racks on this uh, Kerberos. Got to find a way to do that. But we need accuracy with it too, right? It's a gauntlet, eh? Took a hard hit there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay.
Wasn't expecting this one to be a walk in the park, but... God damn it. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Yeah. We gotta engage those guys. Focus fire everything on this guy. Nice. Hostile removed. Okay, we gotta move in and give these guys something to shoot for. All right, firing. Nicely done. Nope. Yep. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's the ghost. It's the ghost light. What about this guy? Watch much better chance to hit. Uh, yep. Whoa. Ouch. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Somebody's having a really fucking bad day. Can we clean this guy up, please? And firing. That's a kill. Come on, people. Let's go. Okay. That problem solved. There's four down, four to go. Okay, as long as you're not shooting for the uh, night gear, I'm good with that. Waiting for orders. Is this Marauder we want to get out of here? Let's fire on this guy. Uh, we're going to Warlord it. we got great chances to hit. Um, do we want to offensive push this guy, probably? Go for a torso shot or maybe a head, well, no, headshot we can't take it clean off unless we hit 13%. Let's go for the torso shot. Reporting critical hit. Should have moved last turn, buddy. And that's all I have to say about that. That's not going to save you. Okay, we're going to engage with that Rakshasa from long range. Will our Timberwolves clean this shit up on this side? Actually, you know what? You might be able to uh, clean up the Marauder here. Let's switch out to Swarm. We got two guys. Well, you know what? Let's leave it as Artemis. I want to try and pull him out of the battle, so let's fire. In all no. Still good amounts of damage, though. Mockingbird's going to come up in here and hopefully finish him off. The Orion's come into play. Got heat on this one, too, eh? Use our speed. 
That's one thing we have going for us. Let's get into here. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Okay, some good damage though. Let's move in this way. Well, this Orion wants to open himself up for a, a hit. That's just fine with me. It's 260 with this guy. We're going to do this and just fire. Ah, oh, it missed. Damn it. 79% chance and it missed. Not fully depleted, it ain't. He didn't move. He did not move. That's bad. Well, not for us, but, but for him, for sure. Rex Shass is pretty damn a uh, accurate. Reporting. Serious armor loss. Okay. Really? Ooh, 51. That's actually not bad. He's got some heat from the fire, too. We're going to pull back here next turn and shoot this guy in the side. I was thinking about using Mockingbird to kind of come up behind the ghost. Whoop. Whoops. Okay, we've only got our this side's damage. Um standing by. Location confirmed. See ya. Warlord. Uh, do we want to swarm this? 60% chance to hit for more damage. Let's go for the damage over a hit chance and fire. Nice. Ninety-nine percent. Let's go after this torso. Firing. You may have overheated me, but you sure as hell ain't going to be able to follow up with that attack. At least not effectively. Griff the stiff. Griff the stiff. Oh shit! That's not fucking good. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. You think? Oh, he hit his head. Scored a critical hit. Well, now we're kind of forced to reanalyze re re the loadout on this guy. <sighs> yes, 
commandos. Let's finish this guy up. At least they're laying off six pack now. Uh, Ghost is probably a better chance to hit. Uh, I don't think we've got a chance with the swarm. We got thermal after this. Let's just take a f shot with the thermal right now. It's going to heat up the area. I was hoping it would. Uh, deter him from firing, but apparently not. Alright, doing this. That's all we can do. Firing. Good thing I spread out that Goss ammo. So one bonus of having Goss ammo is that it doesn't explode, so you don't need case, just put it all over your mech. You can split it into half tons, just put like a little bit everywhere if you're worried about losing the location. Christ, this mech's going to be out for like 60 days. Alright, what's this wreck Shasta doing? So our Orion is almost fixed. So we can pull some systems out of that for this guy. What? Why? Oh. It's just a big fat fucking target. Just a big fat fucking target. Solid connection on that one. I'm here. Move order received. Firing. Enemy eliminated. Good to go. So, I mean, I guess the only other thing is just to throw all damage reduction on it, use it as a fucking tank. That's if we still have it. I'm out of long range. I think we need to just reanalyze. Um, well, you're dead meat. I think we just need to reanalyze the uh, our playstyle. Either we're all moving slow, hitting hard, or we're all moving fast. It's got to be one or the other. Who said you can't take a head off with a large laser? Mission Christ, I, I I don't want to press this continue. Oh, at least our contract payment was increased by 80%. Not that it matters that much. Oh, man. No, we lost it. <sighs> really? Fucking really? Uh... 
Oh, Christ's sake. I don't even know what to say, man. Oh, what do we want to keep? I mean, I guess we could just take two parts. Keep our fingers crossed. Well, it was fun while it lasted. But it's just a big, fat fucking target. Well, we got an extra piece of it. Not that it matters. All right, well. Yep. Let's have a look. Let's get the Orion back up here. Uh, we'll be back in nine days. All right, let's get this repaired here. Um, see what we can do with the Orion. Oh, you had to like smack me in the face by leaving an empty slot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Oh. All right. So, I mean, it could be worse. I don't know how, but it could be. Uh, let's repair all. And let's start out. Going to have to be very efficient with space and, and uh, everything on this guy. All right, um, if we're going to rack five this guy, that's a big if. Let's just see what our weight is here. We'll know here in a second. I mean, we can put the rack 20 on. Uh, if we go both rotary fives, we got five tons left over. Okay, I want to try something different though. Because I said I would try this and I'm going to do it. So we got a 288 core in here. Let's up that a little bit to a 300. Uh, we'll probably be losing some significant weight here, but that's okay. So we're going to go with the 300. Uh, switch that around. We have e-cooling plus two, we do not. So that kind of removes that option. Let's leave it where it was then. Thought we had a plus two. Leave it at plus one, there's no point in changing it then. And then let's go to uh, prototype double heatsink kit. Let's do that. Let's go to weapons. Just for sake of interest. Um, heat efficiency is where right now? I don't know why it says it's fine. It's like, no, nah, man, it's fine. What are you talking about? Uh, then we want to switch to this. Right? Not changing much. What does that say? Do you have to turn, turn this on or off? I don't know. I guess you don't. Uh, okay, so that. Um, then we want to go to here. Getting there.
Um, what do we got down here? Okay, if we go that route. Roger that. That's a 1 8. That's not going to work, is it? Just don't have the weight. Just don't have the weight. Yep. Yupper. Okay, let's try and put it back the way it was then. So stay out. Man, it feels like it was like a waste of like the past few episodes. Okay. Um, where are they here? Oh, here they are. Let's go back to how we had these. And then recoil's a lot higher on these though. But not much we can really do about that at the moment. Let's split up our rack ammo. Uh, we do have a bit more here. I picked up a couple of extra tons of ammo as well in the stores while I was traveling. So we've got a little bit. I think it was one time we picked up. So that's, if that's three tons per, that's 45 rounds a piece. If we're shooting six, that's like almost eight turns of firing. If we're going max. It's 90 rounds right there. That should probably be enough. Sinking is our problem. Apparently it's not. Why is it telling us it is? Heat efficiency has gone way down. These are... So what else do we lose here then? Patchwork materials. Upper ballistic. That's only one ton. Oh, uh, two upper ballistics, right, and then a weapon mount. So that's like three tons right there. We don't have any of those left. So let's go with... Back to our old loadout, maybe? The pair of ER mediums as well, as backups. That puts our heat pretty close to max. Um, let's go here. Let's grab a half ton patchwork and then let's do uh, things that I've been told to be doing and I'm not. Uh, and that is throwing a light tag in. So we're still doing pretty well for heat here. I mean, it'll go up if we were firing more in our racks. We barely, we got minus two recoil reduction, which really isn't a lot. So we'll have to be careful when we're firing. But I mean, our pilot's got, Griff is piloting this, he's got minus two recoil reduction anyway. So that should help out. We have less ammo, I think, than we had before, but not, not by much. Now we got about the same. We got a few rounds less, like four rounds less. But other than that, it's fine. So what are we missing out of here then? The weapons and the ballistic mount, right? Right. I think we stay with the feral lamellar. All right, well.
kind of back to where we were. Right. I'll get so much for the past few episodes, with the exception of Black Knight. So, uh, Boyd is in brought up a really great point about this, and I was thinking about this as a melee mech, right? Thinking, oh, it's a melee mech, whatever. But it really, you know, he changed my thinking on it. It's not really a melee mech. What it is, it's a mech with built-in damage reduction. And if you think of it that way, it makes a hell of a lot more sense. And that he's right, it is. It's just a built another mech with built-in damage reduction. Yes, the Vibro Sword's here and it weighs a few tons, but it's like seven tons. But still, it's like we're getting damage reduction built in, right? We got heat dissipating on this thing, so we could just fill this thing with lasers, right? We'd have to swap out this engine, though. You know me and my torso. Torso get torso is getting killed. It had to be a clan XL. But I mean, like, he's right. He's totally right. It it just I just have to think of it as a uh, another mech with like lots of energy hard points and built-in damage reduction. Which I mean, if we wanted to, I mean, we could make this guy a tank, right? Go with the Feral Lamellar and have like 40% reduction, right? 20 and then 20 here. So 40%. It would totally be worth it. Like, I mean, I don't think we can get structure in here, can we? Yeah, we can. So Clan Endo. We would put a Clan XL in here for sure. I mean, look at the look at the C-Bill cost already. Um, I'm just going to throw the double heatsink kit in for now just to kind of see where it's going to be at. Let's go with a 300 core, just for the sake of 300. It's kind of an average size for this mech. So we'd be dealing with about, what, 28 tons worth of stuff we could put in it? Which isn't bad for, for an energy build. 28 tons, and we've got plenty of slots. It's too bad there's only um, one energy hard point in each arm. I wish there was more. Lots in the torsos, which is kind of crappy, but at least it's protected. I mean, you could put, I don't know what, PPCs on the arms or large lasers, ER larges on the arms. And then a ton of ER pulses in the uh, torsos or something, I don't know, as backups. But we're already talking about, you know, 4 million right here just to do this. And we haven't even started putting stuff on it yet, so that's going to be a project for another day. But you know, we're gonna, we're not going to we're not going to sell this mech. We're going to keep it for sure. All right, I think I'm going to end this episode for today. Uh, I'm kind of depressed that we lost that uh, Kerberos, but I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I guess because my playstyle is so fluid and speed based like I, I like to be fast I like to be moving around um, maybe that's what kind of threw me off of the I, I don't know I think I should have gone with damage reduction rather than the NSS um, that would have helped a little bit for sure um, maybe putting a large combat shield on it would have helped but once again that mech we didn't have much space and we didn't really for a 100 ton assault mech, we really didn't have that much weight to play with. The BFG is nice, but when you lose a side, it's gone, right? And then you're filled, like, then it's just like a waste of space. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, anyway, we got 10 days for a financial report, so we have enough time to make our financial report. We've only got 8 days worth of fixing our mechs, which I'm going to do right now. So when we come back next episode, um, I think there's still more contracts here we can take. We're not going to go, f well, I guess we have to kind of go four, four and a half. Um, that's against Jade Falcon. And that's local government. So we clean out the mercs, battle in the lowlands. We'll get our lands up and running. We'll test it out on this one. And then we'll jump planets uh, just to see. Uh, at least our cost per month is back down to a million, so I guess there's a, <laughs> a bright light in every corridor, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Job's done, man. Um, 
let's just double check to make sure we got everything intact and it's, I didn't fuck up somewhere like I normally do. Oh, the night gear needs some repair. I think it's just an actuator or something probably. What do we get hit with? Oh, the internals. It's only one day. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Well, going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Now that we lost the Kerberos, I don't know. Going to work hard to get more assault mechs. We've still got lots of parts of like Atlases and Marauder 2s, things like that. So we're going to go searching from, for some inner sphere uh, assaults, I guess. See what we can get out of them. All right. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go ahead and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.